Apartment locating is incredibly, incredibly undervalued at the moment. Is there's not enough agents doing it. Uh, there's more. Uh, I'm 33 years old. 80 to 90 percent of my friends live in apartments, and they are moving every single month. It's a consistent business. It generates revenue every single month. It isn't seasonal like residential real estate. And quite simply, there aren't. The best realtors are normally going to commercial or they're going to residential, and this is a massively, massively underserved market. So I found is, I, I was doing commercial, I was doing residential. So I found that when I came into this industry, I was like, wow, uh, the biggest money-making real estate assets are multifamily uh, a lot of the time, um, and it's being incredibly underserved. So I'm finding, the more of an expert I'm becoming in multifamily assets, the more I'm learning from the ground of doing an apartments, the more uh, round real estate knowledge I'm getting because I can look at it from end to end, from the commercial purchase all the way through to the rental. So $1,000, $1,000 a deal is, um, I, I, I worked uh, in digi digital uh, marketing previously and and a thousand or building websites and a thousand dollars a deal making a thousand dollars profit off of a deal um, is a lot. So some are two thousand, some are three thousand. Um, and, and what I find is it's a great, great thing to do because your whole uh, your whole business is built around the delivery of a massive amount of products that you can pick from uh, and pick the best of. Right. You don't have to create these products. You can pick those and you can help to deliver those people to those products. And then once you do, is you get paid for it. Afterwards, normally is let's say, as if you're working on selling or you're working on building a business, normally you have to sell the product then deliver the product or build the product or anything. Like when we were doing app development, we'd have to develop the app afterwards. So when you look at industries, there's very, very few that, um, that you can help people give them a great customer service experience and they get paid handsomely at the end. And all of your friends, almost everybody you know, well, so this is what gave me an anxiety attack when I got into real estate. I realized my from my background in marketing, my target market was everybody. And that was more difficult than actually having a target market. But um, what you'll find is the majority of your friends live in apartments. So uh, you've got a built-in customer base there. I will show you how to find deals, how to run ads for deals and, and all of that good stuff and how to find people looking for apartments, which is fairly straightforward and could build you a nice, nice, consistent business. But at the end of the day, there's not a massive amount of realtors going out there fighting for this business. There's a few companies uh, that are large that are doing it. But other than that, it's fairly, fairly open game. I think in the future, more people are gonna be renting rather than buying. Um, I'm already seeing it happening. People are getting married later. And apartments, apartments are getting a lot, lot nicer. People are getting involved. I'd sit at these real estate conferences where they talk about these live, work, play environments. Those are exactly what apartment complexes are. If you look at the big money on Wall Street, they're investing into a lot of apartment complexes because they don't want you owning your own home. They would rather you rent off them and you go to a subscription model like Netflix or like Amazon or anything uh, like your phone bill, right? If they can get your rent money off you too, then they're probably coming for that. So as you're looking at something that's being pushed from a political uh, agenda, it's coming from a, um, a business agenda. And that's why I was very, very excited about the industry and wanted to get into it because it's high growth. I don't think it's going anywhere. I think it's gonna grow, 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 grow. And more and more realtors are gonna get into it once they realize what a lucrative business it can be. So this is why I think the apartment locating industry is extremely undervalued and maybe why you should consider getting into it if you're not already and uh, and take pride in yourself in it. As I found, uh, you know, a lot of realtors talk down about the industry or this, that and the other. But whenever there's industry upsets, right, like in 2008 and realtors were then going to work in malls or car sales or whatever other product they could they could go through is um, apartments weren't as, as big then. Right. So I think it's going to be a good, um, a good, good, solid industry that's going to remain stable and continue to grow over the next 10, 15 years. So uh, so that's why I think it's extremely undervalued. Uh, post your thoughts and comments below.